Hey, tubers, let's talk about what I hate about RVing. And the longer I go RVing, the more I hate it. So let's get to it right now. Open up your eyes and see what's real. Come away with me. I'm the one who knows just how you now the first thing that really is starting to aggravate the heck out of me about RVing full time is the driving. Yes, it's part of the experience, I understand. But the biggest issue is I've driven a lot in my life. I've had years where I commute 100,000 kilometers. That's 62,000 miles a year for you American folk out there. and. Uh, while I enjoy having my own bed and my own toilet while I travel, I'm getting tired of long drives. I like the short drives. You know what I'm saying? It's more peaceful and uh, more fulfilling. And the more I think about it, like if I want to go down to L.A., there are so many flights up and down the West Coast. And I, I would say even if you live in the East Coast, if you want to fly to New York to uh, you know, Florida anywhere, you look around, you can get cheap flights. And if you figure out the gas mileage of this pig here, uh, it cost me about $500 for me to drive south each way. So I can get a flight for 100 and change each way to go to L.A. And the rest I can uh, buy a nice hotel or go on Airbnb and rent a condo or something. So I'm really, really worn out on the driving. I like arriving. That's why I like arriving with the RV. If, if I could pay somebody to drive the RV and uh, just get there, that would be easier. A lot more expensive, of course. And, of course, you can only hire somebody that you can actually trust, which is another problem. But that being said, I like arriving where I want to be. Not interested in the journey anymore because I've driven everywhere around this continent. There's only a few places I haven't been, so... You know, I'm just not interested in uh, chewing my cabbage uh, again for the 15 billionth time. You know, I don't really need to see uh, Eureka, California yet again. You know what I'm saying? When I've already seen it uh, 75 times or more in my life. So that's kind of uh, the thing that pisses me off. I'm not interested in long drives anymore. So I think I'm going to be flying more. <laughs> and... Uh, Definitely interested in flying down to New Zealand or Australia, renting an RV, and not doing a lot of driving. I'm totally up for that. The second thing I really hate about RVing full-time is the laundry. Now, I know you RVers have got the big rigs. Hey, great, you got the washer dryers. Not an issue. I'm getting tired of taking my laundry and throwing it in a machine that everybody else uses. Hey, I don't know what the hell was in that machine beforehand. Yeah, a lot of these machines don't even do a great job. It's starting to really, really wear on me. Third thing, minor, of course, still kind of tired of people that I know, especially saying, hey, well, you live in an RV all these years, where do you go take a poop? They don't realize we have bathrooms. Tired of the ignorance of the RV lifestyle for those who are not RVers. It's annoying. And the second question always is, well, where do you shower? Uh, I shower with a bucket with a rope on a stick. Come on. I shower in my shower. It's really stupid. And then, of course, the, then comes the male question, blah, blah, blah. We've all talked about this. Ad nauseum for you Latin fans. So, for you full-time RVers, what the hell pisses you off the most about full-time RVing? Now, with money time and effort you can get around all these problems so you know I know I can always rent a condo wherever I go I can rent an RV wherever I go so hey I can always ditch this pig at the airport which I've done many a times which another tip that I will say about that is I love when I got a, a 5 or 6 a.m. flight out to somewhere I love ditching this in a secured parking lot somewhere at an airport it's great I get there the night before I sleep I'm rested I get up I jump on the shuttle, I'm at the airport. I don't have to commute through traffic and all that BS. Makes the trip a little nicer and another great way to use your RV even when you fly off somewhere. Just my thoughts, what are yours? Put them down there in the comments. Stay safe, keep your wheels on the ground. I'll talk to you soon. Over and out.